gonna remember this time. Preheating actually at the correct time to preheat. Do, 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 Cassidy Quinn. Hey guys, it's me, Cassidy Quinn, and welcome to this episode of Cassidy Licious, the show where I, Cassidy, attempt to cook things. She's mixing and I'm baking with lots of pumpkin. Cassidy Licious is making something that'll hopefully taste delicious. Happy Thanksgiving! If you do not live in America, I don't know if you really have Thanksgiving, but if you don't, here's a summary. We celebrate something in America's history, and to celebrate, we eat our feelings. We also talk about things we're grateful for, because we're not horrible humans, totally. So yeah, Thanksgiving is pretty much all about food. But not just the turkey, the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, the cranberry sauce, the sweet potatoes, the- oh my goodness, I am- really wishing I had all those foods right now. There's also the all-important dessert. Oh yeah, did you see I already have a pumpkin pie with me? Because yeah, I could not wait to eat dessert till I shot this video. Who do you think I am? I am going to make something I personally have never, ever, ever seen on the Thanksgiving dessert table. And yes, there should be a whole table of desserts at Thanksgiving. Today, we are going to make Pumpkin brownies. I feel like this is the ultimate, like, Thanksgiving stoner food. <laughs> Let's get started! I'm making these gluten-free because I surprisingly have friends, and I'm going over to my friend's house for dinner this evening, and my friend is gluten-free. So I took my first trip to the gluten-free section of the grocery store. First step is to preheat the oven. I already did that. Today is a success. Adulting. Whenever I have brownies, oh, you need scissors. Too complicated. Oh, good thing my scissors are actually in the place they're supposed to be. For once. I always question whoever came up with the name brownies. Like really, you couldn't have come up with anything more inventive than that? Sure, they're brown. We get the point. You had no better ideas. Ugh, we need a half cup of butter. And it has to be melted, so that's dumb. Well, that's my last stick, said the caveman before he drew his final writing on the wall. Hey guys, what was the campaign slogan for the presidential popcorn? It gets butter. <laughs> oh god, it's already stupid. While that attempts to melt, we are going to put three eggs in here. Ugh, it's already a mess. Ah, oh, good thing my paper towels are where they're supposed to be too. This is this is good. We're on a roll. Just like the paper towels. <laughs> Get it? It's a roll. You are not very melted. Chop you up. I'm sorry. You can regrow like a worm does when it loses its head or its butt. Join your friends! Surprise! It's melted! Pour the butter in there. Remember, I said this was gluten-free. I did not say it was healthy. But pumpkin is a vegetable, right? Or is it a fruit? Now we just mix. Hey guys, what did the brownie batter give his sixth grade girlfriend for their one month anniversary? A mix tape! <laughs> what did the brownie batter say after watching a presidential debate? I've got mixed feelings. <laughs> I'm putting this down on the counter, because holding it up to the camera is just taking too much arm strength, which I do have a lot of. I love how directions for things just say mix well. Yeah, that's obviously the goal, but what if I screw it up? Who's judging? Mm-hmm. That's delicious. I need to stop or I'll eat the whole bowl. Sometimes when I'm cooking something and I want to stop myself from eating everything before I've even made it, I pretend I'm on a competition cooking show and I've run out of time. Hands off the food! Hands off the food! Step away from your counter! We're going to mix cream cheese, which says it's gluten free. I'm not trying to kill my friend today. Canned pumpkin. Can opener. See? So prepared today. This just looks like baby food. Now the hardest part of the whole recipe getting the pumpkin out of the measuring cup. Just trying to have a relaxing day. That looks like fun. Oh, we need another egg. Three tablespoons of sugar. Three pumpkin pie spikes. Did you know this existed? The directions just say to mix this well. Still up for interpretation. This looks appetizing. This looks like baby puke. I'm really not liking the imagery here. Oh my god, guys. I was so proud of myself for preheating the oven, but I forgot that all of my pans are inside it. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Mmm. It kind of just tastes like pumpkin cheesecake, which is also a thing that I made one time. You should go watch that video. Our brownie batter. Yes, hello, old friend. We pour three quarters of this into our pan. Oh crap, 
I was supposed to grease the pan. I already washed this pan once today. It's so nice, I'll do it twice. Okay, take two. I'm just glad I remembered that because that would have been very embarrassing. I would have ruined my reputation forever. Are you having deja vu? Sometimes you fail at things, but you can always try a second time. Unless the chance is gone, then you can't get over it. Whoa, yeah, see? That's how I felt about that. Good enough. Now for the exciting part. And by exciting, I just mean orange. Orange, you glad you're watching this video? <laughs> Probably not yet. So we spread this all over the top. Look at this, look at this, look at it. Are you looking at it? And now for the really exciting part. We're supposed to take the remaining one fourth of the brownie mix and put it in spoonfuls on top of the pumpkin stuff. Now we're supposed to take a butter knife and gently, gently being the keyword, swirl it around. Gently, gently. Am I doing this gently enough? Now we put them in the oven. We're letting things happen. 40 to 50 minutes. While we wait, we'll write a song. Dear Pumpkin Brownies, I'm so excited to meet you. Dear Pumpkin Brownies, I hope you don't taste like dog do. That's kind of what you look like, but that's okay. I will put you in my belly anyway. What you lack in gluten, you make up for orange. And you'll never know what you would. Nothing rhymes with orange. Ugh. Hey guys, what did the pumpkin say when it hosted Saturday Night Live? I'm going to bump you up. <laughs> what did the pumpkin say while watching a really bad movie? I'm gourd. <laughs> Get it? Bored, but gourd. Because the pumpkin is a pumpkin a gourd. What do pumpkins and Snooky have in common? If you tell them they look orange, they both take it as a compliment. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're done, they're done, they're done. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my goodness, they look so beautiful. Look at the orangey pumpkininess with the brown browniness. Yeah, see, still not impressed with the name. Oh my god, they smell amazing. I cannot wait to eat them, but I have to. I don't want to be that weird girl that shows up to the party with a tray of freshly made brownies with one missing out of the corner, because that would look sketchy. Okay, we have Aquila, the gluten free one, <laughs> Veronica. I'm almost done with my dessert, it's that good. Oh, yes! Moment of truth. First bite. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Yay! Excellent. If you're not eating, I'll still eat it. You can get married now, since you know how to cook some brownies. Oh, good. Mmm. So delicious. Yes, it's delicious. <laughs> yeah! Thank you guys for being my taste testers. <laughs> Absolutely, anytime. anytime. They Maybe made dinner, by the way. Hopefully so. we don't die tonight. You never know. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You really should make these brownies because they are delicious. Except I'm recording this part before I have tasted them. Let me know in the comments below what else I should make. Maybe I should do a Christmassy Casa Delicious. Ooh. I hope everybody has a wonderful, happy, healthy, not too healthy, eat dessert. Thanksgiving, even if you don't live in America or Canada. They also have Thanksgiving, but it was a while ago. Happy Thanksgiving. I love you guys. I am very grateful for all of you all five people that are watching this video right now. But seriously, I appreciate it. Let me know what else I should make. And you are wonderful, and I hope you know that. 